Hey there Cosmic Warriors and welcome back to another video. And if you are new here, my name is Hannah. I am a Western practical astrologer. Okay, so in today's video, we are gonna be talking all about the symbol of Libra. What does it really mean? Stay tuned and find out. But before we do dive into today's video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and click the bell. And if you are interested in booking a reading with me, then you can visit my website, hannahselsware.com. There you can also find my practical astrology ebooks, guide, merch, cheat sheets, all that good stuff. All the links to these products will be in the description box down below. And if you do want extra astrology content early, plus daily forecasts and guides, head on over to my Patreon. And I also wanna say thank you so, so much to my patrons over there for all of your support. As always, I hope you find this video to be helpful. Let's do this. Okay, so as you most likely know, the symbol of Libra is the scales. So as you can see from this glyph right here, it shows what looks like a set of scales. And it's these weighing scales that symbolize equality and balance. The scales can be associated with the scales of justice and the scales of justice are used in many Western presentations of modern law. Moreover, these scales symbolize the idea of the fur distribution of the law with no influence of prejudice, or of bias or privilege or corruption. Lady Justice holds the scales of justice and she is often depicted with a blindfold and most times holding a sword. And then she also has the scales in the other hand. Now, this blindfold is quite fitting uh, with the myth. You know, when we think about the myth of uh, Teres, Teresius, Teresius, uh, which we explored in the Libra mythology video. The sword is also quite fitting with the justice card in the tarot, which we're going to get into. But yes, the justice card does show an image of a woman holding a sword in one hand and then a set of scales in the other. Still, this sword is the sword of truth. Furthermore, the symbol of Libra can represent the balance between seasons. Libra season actually marks the autumn equinox throughout the calendar uh, year in the Northern Hemisphere and then marks springtime for the South. Libra marks the halfway point throughout the astrological year. It is also the symbol that is the only object, right? Whilst the other symbols are comprised of animals and human beings. This shows the objective and impartial energy associated with Libra. Such qualities are needed when it comes to law and justice. The jury must remain impartial as they base their verdict on the evidence and the facts presented. Now there is also something else that I want to quickly touch on. So the glyph of Libra looks very similar to that of the Greek um, omega letter, doesn't it? So omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet and apparently it means the end of something, the last, the ultimate limit of a set. It is said to represent the great end. Indeed, it is a symbol of closure. But you see, this is also about the relationship of alpha and omega, meaning, the beginning and ending, the first and the last, symbolizing infinity. Now this is interesting when we consider uh, this information in conjunction with the Libra mythology, how Libra is tied to the weighing of the heart versus the feather. Do we become reborn or do we fall to our doom? Okay, this is about the weighing of our actions and choices, karma. And do you remember these glyphs in astrology? Have you seen them somewhere before? Yes, the nodes, okay? Well, they look very much like the Libra glyph. In fact, the omega symbol represents the longitude of the ascending node. And of course, the thing about this is what do the nodes point toward in our natal chart? Karma, yes. And it's also, of course, the Lord of time and karma, Saturn, that exalts in Libra. Are you seeing these connections? Are we seeing them? We learn from Libra that our actions and our choices have consequences, whether beneficial or not, okay? And that such things can offset balance. 
But the thing about Libra is it can be a highly indecisive sign. And here's the thing about indecision. It's still action. Not to decide is to decide within itself. When we choose not to decide, we still make a choice. We might try to keep the pace, for example, by not getting involved in something, but later realize that our failure to contribute added to the scenario. This is further interesting because horizontal lines are said to indicate a sense of motionless rest and pace. Lines also point to division. Therefore, perhaps Libra also teaches us where we are divided, right? Where we are divided on things, where we differ, where we disagree, and then seeing where we stand. But also, when and where can we be impartial and inactive? Libra is a sign known for sitting on the fence, which is not a bad thing necessarily. We're reminded that we do not have to make a decision right away and we can give it some time. We can weigh things out, right? We can weigh out our options. We can consider alternatives. Libra is also the sign of equilibrium, inviting us to explore opposing forces and influences in this balanced way. And this makes sense because each sign has an opposite and this within itself is what Libra teaches us. It's interesting because Aries and Libra are yang energy and they oppose one another in the zodiac. Aries is the first sign and because it is the first sign this means that Libra comes into action straight away ushering in balance. But whilst Libra tries to approach matters in this diplomatic, rational, fur, thoughtful way, Aries is much more direct and to the point. Libra is more willing to consider other people's perspectives and feelings, but Aries, not so much. Aries is more me focused and Libra is more other focused. Aries still considers others and Libra also considers themselves, but whilst Aries initiates and simply does, Libra thinks before initiating and doing. Both are leaders, but lead in different ways. Libra can hold two different points of views, at the same time, whilst Aries is more concerned about what they think as individuals. Still, when it comes to Libra, there can be a tug of war within the self between their head and their heart. It can be challenging to know if they are making a decision based on their head or their heart, but this is also about coming to make decisions from a place of <laughs> incorporating the two. They can make great decisions by harmonizing the two. On that note, let's turn our attention to scales for a moment. Let's explore some facts about scales. Some things I have already touched on uh, will most likely come up, but scales are measuring devices used to determine the weight or mass of an object. So thinking about balance scales, digital scales, mechanical scales, and they show up within ancient civilizations. Refer back to the Libra mythology video where we explored the weighing of the heart against the feather of goddess Mat. The traditional scale consists of two plates or bowls uh, suspended at equal distances from the fulcrum. Now one plate holds an object of unknown mass and on the other plate known masses are added until static equilibrium is achieved and the plate, the plates then level. This happens when the masses on the plates are equal. <laughs> now in Shakespeare's Hamlet, it reads, thy madness shall be paid by weight till our scale turn the beam. Essentially, scales symbolize equality, balance, justice, and harmony. However, Perfect scales are said to rest at neutral. And it is a sign, it's the sign of Libra that can show up as us being neutral, impartial, and indifferent, okay? We can see this within our charts when we look to Libra. Such qualities can be useful. And like I said, the symbol of Libra is an object. It's not an animal, it's not a human. Therefore, we can view things through a much more impartial lens we don't favor a person or a situation over another and we do not discriminate. 
We also do not let our personal feelings and biases cloud our judgment. However, Libra, much like Virgo, can struggle with perfection and being overly idealistic as well. Sure, Libra can see both sides or all sides <laughs> within a situation, but there is also a part of Libra that can judge from a place of what they think is right. What they think is equal and fair might not align with somebody else's version of it. And we see this all the time in life, you know, between couples, for instance, disagreements about who does what, about the share, about the load, this continuous back and forth. Conflicts can arise, but so can these resolutions and these reconciliations. We also see such matters within the legal system and Libra rules justice, law and the lower courts. So for example, a parent outraged about a monster who hurt their daughter only to serve a fraction of the time they believe they should have gotten. What was right or wrong in that situation? What was fair? Perhaps then what we learn from Libra is that life is not fair. So this, the archetype of Libra shows us how we weigh out situations in our lives. We can look at matters from different angles and perspectives and weigh them against each other. This is about choice and how we act on our decisions. Like I said, karma. But this is also about how we relate to others. This cardinal air sign is social and interactive comprised of charm, grace, and feedback. We relate to others and seek to create harmony within our relationships and our partnerships. We recognize how balance can be restored whilst also seeing where we differ. We can see where we stand within relationships. This is about teamwork and our willingness to share. Libra is a sign of sharing and receiving feedback. To receive feedback from others and to see what such information uh, tells us about ourselves. Libra can negotiate and cooper cooperate very well, making Libras excellent at forming business relationships. We indeed can learn how to be diplomatic and how to subtly lead others and initiate ideas. Libras are masters of persuasion and they are great conversationalists not to mention the creative and artistic side of Libra. This is a sign that possesses great taste and can be rather fashionable and decorative. Then again, there can also be times when Libra demands uh, justice and fairness and can be the ultimate judge, sort of like the sun god Shamash as we explored in the mythology video. Think about the tarot card, the justice card. This card represents Libra very well because this card is about justice and fairness, but can insist on such matters. It's a card that is linked to the law and to legal concerns and shows up as acting on ethical principles. So thinking about what is right and wrong, Libra and Sagittarius are tied to morality and ethics within astrology, but this is also a card of staying true to one's code of ethics, right? Uh, moreover, the justice card is about karma and the actions that we make, cause and effect. Certain actions might require us to take responsibility, to hold ourselves accountable and to pay off any debts, <laughs> to settle things. Libra rules settlements, agreements, contracts, and also this card indicates truth as well as our ability to remain impartial within certain situations. We also weigh out our options and our choices before making a decision. That way we can make decisions with greater awareness of all the moving parts. But this is also about acceptance. So accepting what has been done or accepting the results we have created. But then again, also being able to recognize how we got to that point. <laughs> what actions did we make in the past? We also make decisions in life we're not very proud of. We all do things we wish we didn't. But this is a card that helps us see how we got from A to B. And how we can, of course, change our course of direction as well. How we can learn for the, for the next time. We can take a moment to acknowledge our role or our involvement in a situation, whilst also seeing that other people play their own role, which 
is a part of their own karma. But you see, the thing about this is Libra energy can go back and forth. Okay, back and forth too much. We can go from one side to another side as we sit and try to make a decision. And we can also be too concerned about what other people think of us, what others might think about our choices in life, how they might judge us. Libra can be too concerned about looks and appearances and being liked. And if you're someone who can be like this, perhaps it is a good idea to consider your childhood, okay? How were your decisions and choices nurtured growing up? Did you feel like you had the right to choose for yourself? Maybe adults around you um, couldn't decide to save their lives. Or whilst one parent decided on a certain matter, the other would decide on the opposite and there was discord, there was conflict. Perhaps keeping the peace was repeated and you observed this time and time again, or maybe you felt judged often, like your views or your ideas were overpowered by others. They came first and so you came last. Maybe being the nice guy or gal was what you felt you had to be in order to create less drama in your life. Instead of being attacked for being yourself, it was easier to be something you weren't. And so during times in adulthood, when it appears as if you can't make a decision or maybe you're worried about upsetting others, maybe it's useful to explore those earlier stages to um, explore how your own decision-making was supported as a child. This is how Libra shows up in our charts. The Libra house shows the area of life where we relate to others and seek to create harmony or to restore balance. You'll want to be a diplomat. It's also an area of life of relatability. Our Libra house is about acceptance. Libra represents our ability to accept ourselves and others for who they are as a whole sort of package as well. And by doing so, we can decide for ourselves if we wish to prolong the connection or bring it to a close. After all, there are qualities in others we both like and dislike. We enter relationships aware of our similarities and of our differences. We learn to be nicer to others and accept them for both their positive and negative qualities because no one person is, is perfect or all good or all bad, right? And we also learn to step away from discord that disrupts the harmony. Of course, it's good to talk about our differences and to have an open line of communication within our relationships. But if the arguments outweigh the, the agreements, if more war is created more than peace, yeah, perhaps it would be within our best interest uh, to really step away or to rethink things. This doesn't necessarily have to be for life, but maybe for a period of time, but still, but still we reach the stage along our self-discovery journey that focuses on relationships, right? <laughs> right? Coordination, uh, diplomacy, and getting feedback. And much like scales weigh, Libra in your chart represents the part of you that weighs out your options. Okay then Cosmic Warriors, so that concludes my video talking all about the symbol of Libra. Please let me know if you find this video to be helpful. Did you learn something new? I would really appreciate your feedback. And like you, I am always learning. You can find all of the sources that I use in this video in the description box down below. And I also wanna say, Again, thank you so, so much to my patrons over at Patreon for all of your support. As always, let me know your thoughts and your opinions on today's video below. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you would like to see more videos from myself and you have not yet subscribed, then make sure that you click that subscribe button and also give this video a like if, if you did like it today. And I will be back with another video very, very soon.